What is this nonsense? What is is NBZ using real standards? What real Pokemon standards? How? What's going on here? We to fall in some alternate dimension where he's decided to use actual legitimate Pokemon? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, but I guess we're gonna have to find out. Hello, my name is of course NBZ, and today I have a Pokemon battle, a standard one. Wouldn't you know it's standard in every sense of the word. Uh, I'm just using uh, some Pokemon that I salved recently that I wanted to test out. Got special defensive for Powdon. Got Specs Latios. I've never used Specs Latios before, guys. Uh, I thought it was about time, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do it in this match. So I lead off with my territory. I'm setting my ground right now. This is my territory, and no one else is allowed in it. Apart from maybe Chansey. Chansey can uh, kind of stay there for a while until I'm able to get off a side shock. But unfortunately, uh, I go for the Draco on the first turn. I saw he had Chansey, obviously, but I was like, eh. We'll just go for Draco, see how it goes, and does a nice chunk to the thing regardless. But I know for later on that if I want to have any shot at taking that thing out, I'm going to have to lock myself into a side shock uh, when it comes in. So that's what we do. Uh, first of all, we're going to go to Wario, uh, this giant uh, gaping mouth to pout on, named so because in Smash Brothers Brawl, when Wario does that thing where he eats... Uh, opponents, because um, Pipadon has a giant mouth, I thought it would be fitting. Uh, so that's what I called it. Um, so I decided to set up Stealth Rocks uh, on this turn. I think he set them up as I switched in, maybe, and then went for the Sunny Day, which I thought rather interesting, because, hey, this guy ain't pissing around. He wants his sun up. He does have a Venusaur, which is, of course, very threatening, but makes sense that he would want to stay and get his sun as, as long as possible. I guess it's just to, to stop any kind of rain or, or uh, sand teams going around, so makes sense, um, but I'm going to have to get out of here, because I know he's going to soft boil, and there's no point in me staying in, so I'm going to go into Scizor. It gives me a little bit of initiative, because uh, he's obviously going to be afraid of the superpower uh, and he's not going to want to stay in, so I can freely U-turn on him and uh, see what he wants to do. Hey, look, I'm getting ahead of myself. What is this? It's a red wedding, apparently. It's red all over the place. Jeez. Uh, talk about perfect setting for the sizzle, but uh, now he's going to switch out, go into his nine tails, which is actually perfectly fine, because we can get off a uh, you know, stealth rock damage on the switch in, and then uh, a U-turn, which actually, having said that, I was I said choice banner U-turn, but it's a scarf sizzle I'm running today, which is rather interesting. I just decided I wanted to try it out, scarf sizzle. Uh, I know Wild Chase has used it before, and I was like, eh, why not? Might as well. So I'm going to go into my Landris, uh, which is the rock polish set, which I've been hearing a lot about. Uh, apparently it's really good. So so I was like, fine, I'll just use really good things. Specs, Latios, Rock, Polish, Life Orb, Special Landers, do it. Just whatever. So I go for the Focus Blast, uh, mainly because I was afraid of Chansey coming in to take the predicted Earth Power, but he decides to just fodder his Nine Tails, which is perfectly fine, because he does have Sunny Day on his Chansey if he, you know, manages to take out my Hippowdon at some point and then gets off the Sunny Day, then he kind of has control of the weather regardless. But uh, now I go into Hippowdon, talking of which, because he brings in Venusaur, and I know for a fact that Venusaur is going to be faster than Landris because of the sun and the chlorophyll boost, uh, but I also know he's probably going to go for the growth on this turn. Uh, I knew I couldn't kill him with Landra, so I had to switch. Uh, my best switching is Hippowdon. First of all, because it's going to get rid of the sun, uh, meaning that not only is his speed taken down, but also when he goes for the growth on the switch, uh, it's only going to give him plus one special attack as opposed to plus two special attack, meaning that I can actually take a Giga Drain at plus one because, ladies and gentlemen, as I said at the start of the match, I'm using special defensive Hippowdon, who is absolutely glorious. Now, I'm not actually going to be able to do too much to him just because I don't have that much... Into offensive investment, so Earthquake isn't going to do, I mean, it's going to do less than half, which is kind of pathetic, but the main purpose of that was, of course, to get rid of the sun, and now that the sun is gone, it means that I can outspeed him easily with my Latios and kill him with a Psy Shock, so that's uh, basically what we're going to go for. So, now that Warrior, unfortunately, is taken down, he basically has control of the weather, because he can just go back into Chansey and set the sun back up, but in all honesty, none of my dudes really rely too much on, on sand, so it's not really a big deal, uh, and hey, some of them kind of... Uh, uh, don't take sand too well, like Latios, because it's going to chip away at it every turn. So I go into it now, and I'm like, okay, this is my opportunity to go for Psy Shock, because if he does want to go into Chansey, that thing is not going to take spec Psy Shocks favorably whatsoever. No matter how much d defensive investment you put into it, uh, ain't going to stack up to it. And as you can see, clearly a two hit KO. Fantastic work. I'm establishing the territory right here. Latios in charge, and two Psy Shocks going to knock out the Chansey, though. That's uh, a big threat out of the way. Chansey's a huge, annoying pain. And I'm glad to be shot of it. So now he's going to be free to go into his tan growth, I believe, because, you know, he's going to be uh, able to take physical hits um, because Psyshock obviously hits on the physical side. 
and I'm going to switch out. Going to go into Sadavos, uh, the Onion Knight himself, uh, knowing that probably going to be some kind of Leech Seed action or even Sleep Powder, um, which could happen, and I really didn't mind that because obviously I have Natural Cure, so I can just come and take the Sleep Powder and then get the hell out of there whenever I want to, but fortunately, he actually ends up missing the Sleep Powder on the Switch, which gives me a little bit of a window to go for uh, some damage on him, get some solid hit uh, with a Psychic, and uh, see how much I can do to him, and uh, looking at this, I'm pretty pleased, man, that's a lot of HP taking down, not only that, but I get the special offense drop, so we're looking good here. Uh, unfortunately, though, he really does like Sun, as you can see, he's given Sunny Day to a few things, and Tangrowth is one of them, um, and we'll also find out that he's not running a regenerator here, because, as you can see, he got his leftovers before me, indicating he's now faster, and if you didn't believe me when I said that, then now you can clearly see he's faster, because he actually outspeeds me and goes for Sleep Powder, and actually hits it this time. So, now he's in a decent position, the only thing I'm thinking is, like, unless he has, like, Hidden Power Fire, he shouldn't really be able to touch Celebi. Uh, so I kind of don't have a problem staying in here. I also kind of want to stay in because I was predicting him to... Uh, preempt my switch and go for a second sleep powder knowing that I have natural cure so he'd be free to do that but uh, uh, fortunately for me he uh, well unfortunately he goes for synthesis which is uh, kind of to, to the negative end of my spectrum because uh, he's able to get his HP back up but I do wake up and get off a uh, psychic with the special defense drop and hey look at that we are we're in business again because uh, apparently he can't really touch my salary tries to go for the Giga Drain. Uh, I go for the T-Wave that I think my reason for doing so was, I, I'm not sure if I'd really had one, uh, probably thought he was going to switch to something to take the Psychic, though he doesn't really have anything on his team that can take a Psychic, uh, funnily enough, but I thought T-Wave would be a better move, so I went for it. Uh, whatever. Um, but I now know he's going to switch again, so I'm going to actually go for a T-Wave a second time. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to just go for a Psychic, because why would I go for... T There's no reason for me to predict in that situation. I'm just getting ahead of myself here. I think I think I did that in a different match. There was another match I had where I T-waved and then T-waved straight uh, away again after that. So that's kind of creeping into my mind probably. But yeah, he goes into Venusaur uh, when Psychic was really obvious, which I don't quite understand, but maybe he needed a pivot and he was sacrificing Venus. Don't ask me. I think Venusaur was a big key for him this match and kind of letting it go was uh, slightly strange so he goes into Darmanitan which I honestly expected to be scarfed and I didn't want to take a flare blitz in the sun from anything Darmanitan especially so I decided I was just going to fodder Celebi and just kind of let it go uh, expecting to die uh, but I actually am faster and get off a Thunder Wave on him which is pretty fantastic uh, would have been nice to get off a Psychic but you know T-Wave works just as, just as well and hey now uh, Latios has no trouble dealing with it so Bring it in, go for the side shock, take that thing out, and at this point, uh, it's pretty much cleaning up time, I think. I think my territory has been established. Latios, uh, claiming the ground for himself, sticking his his flagpole in the ground. What the hell was that with Infernate? Was that a weird Pokeball thing? I know they, they have these weird Pokeball things where it's like all dazzly and sparkly when you send them out. There's something to do with the in-game. But hey, I don't know the in-game, guys. <laughs> Last time I played in-game of, of any kind of Pokemon game was Black White 2, and I really didn't enjoy it, honestly. It's kind of boring. But enough of the rambling. Uh, we're going to get back to finishing this match off. Tangrowth, say goodbye. Say your prayers. It's time to go to sleep. And uh, Psyshock's actually going to finish that guy off as well. So, Ladio's closing out the match in style with three well-placed Specs Psy Shocks. And I think he claimed like four kills that game as well. So, not too shabby. Uh, excellent. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I will uh, hopefully keep this... Um kind of upload thing going as I'm in London, busy here and there, but uh, we'll see what we can do and, and we'll try and do our best uh, or I shall try and do my best, I talk as if I have like a corporation of people running my channel whereas it's just me and my laptop uh, and that's just how it is the illusion, the illusion of grandeur, I guess. But uh, thank you very much, guys. If you did enjoy, uh, of course, feel free to leave a like on the video and maybe someday um, you will be rewarded for that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.